all want global peace, but what do we really know about it? Every business will tell you that peace is good for profits, but not many people know exactly why that is. In order to better understand peace, we must first be able to study it and measure it, to capture how it affects other things and how it grows or diminishes. The Global Peace Index was created to do just this. It not only ranks nations for their peacefulness, but also seeks to identify the drivers of peace. These drivers are the things that create the environment for peace to prosper. It's fascinating and groundbreaking stuff. Now in its fourth year, the index is produced by the Institute for Economics and Peace and collated and calculated by the Economist Intelligence Unit. To date, 144 countries have been ranked using the Global Peace Index. Whilst wandering through Africa, Steve Killalay, the founder of the Global Peace Index, asked himself a simple question. What do peaceful nations look like? Now we can see the highest ranking countries on the Global Peace Index, such as New Zealand and Iceland, have very low levels of internal conflict, cohesive and integrated populations, efficient and accountable governments, high levels of regional integration, high enrolment and attendance in primary and secondary schooling, low levels of corruption, freedom of the press, and respect for human rights. A one-point improvement in a nation's Global Peace Index score adds 1.49 percentage points to a country's annual economic growth. This means we can measure exactly why peace is good for profits and why growing peace is the right kind of investment.